and welcome to the MapSite Add-in for Excel video series. In part one, we will look at how to transform your data from the spreadsheet to the map in just a few clicks. So hopefully you've installed the add-in from the Microsoft App Store, the link's in the description below. Once installed, you will have access to the new MapSite ribbon, and we can go ahead and hit the Add to Map button. Now for this video, we're going to use the sample data provided by the add-in to get us started. If you've got your own data, just go ahead and use that. The add-in has selected all the data for us, but you can select any portion of that data you acquire, provided it has the location fields. We can see the selected range, a preview of that data, and that the add-in automatically uses the first row as a header for our selection fields below. The add-in has suggested a name for our map and found the latitude and longitude columns for us. Now, if your data doesn't have latitude or longitudes, don't worry, we can use address fields to create the coordinates needed to map our data. So go ahead and hit finish and you can start playing with the interactive map. Now, if you don't have those latitude and longitude fields, let's just walk through that. So I'll remove mine here. Refresh our selection. And we can see the add-in is unable to detect valid longitude and latitude fields. So let's use the address fields. Geocoding our data is really easy. The add-in will try to populate the selection fields for us. So it's found city and country for us here. So let's get started by hitting the geocode button. Great, our geocoding process is finished and we can add to map. As we can see, we now have the required latitude and longitude fields. Great, let's hit finish. And there we go, our fully interactive map is available. That's it for part one, thanks for watching.